It's Criterion Month, and uh, I actually am going to be honest with you. I only have one coming. That uh, it's probably not what you think. It's an older one. And recently, Criterion has been uh, has been letting me down a bit when it comes to uh, some of the stuff they're putting out. The lack of uh, booklets, a lot of stuff they're doing. And I thought if only I could think of a uh, a way to keep getting the Criterion uh, films. You know, get them in, the, in that style of films, and uh, and still get you know the quality. The, the quality of the, uh, the prints, the uh, the booklets, that type of thing. And it took me a while, but uh, I thought about it and I thought about it, and then I was like, I got it. Eureka! I'll be right back. Hey there guys, I'm going to try and make this a fairly quick video. As you know, I've been on in a while. Uh, it's been about a week or so since I've been on here. And uh, basically, I haven't been feeling well. <laughs> I have been under the weather. <clears throat> I've been working every day, but still, I've been under the weather. And uh, hopefully, it's starting to get better. And uh, I'll be able to do videos more regularly. And I, at least I hope so. <laughs> so, I've got seven DVD, seven Blu-rays. Uh, most are dual format. And one out of print DVD to show you. <laughs> so, uh, there are some classic stuff. In 1974, the, uh, well, the epic fight, uh, the Rumble in the Jungle, the Ali Foreman fight, uh, happened. And, uh, aside from that, well, a great, great, uh, concert was held. Oh, and, uh, yeah. This is the, uh, the movie about that concert. It was called Soul Power. And it had some amazing artists in it. <clears throat> I cannot wait to watch this one, actually. So it's kind of a documentary, kind of a verite documentary, uh, with a lot of uh, fantastic, uh, very raw, very, very real, very in the moment, very socially, politically uh, felt uh, songs. And the people that are on this are just incredible. We have James Brown, B.B. King, Bill Withers, Sister Sledge, Miriam. McCabe, <clears throat> The Spinners, Big Black, Crusaders, Celia Cruz, and many, many more. So, the movie is called Soul Power. And if you haven't heard of it, you really should check this one out. It's a really awesome documentary. It's a uh, number, what is it now? Number seven in the uh, Eureka Masters of Cinema collection. And that's what we're doing today. We're doing Eureka Masters of Cinema. You can see it. And if you ever haven't seen Eureka before, I've done a couple of them on my, uh, on my channel. So first off, you're going to notice is that we have these booklets, kind of like the uh, cartoon ones. They're all usually really big. There's Muhammad Ali there. And uh, <coughs> they give you like a... It's really kind of cool here. Basically, they show you the uh, soul power is presented in the original 178 aspect ratio. In viewing on widescreen systems, the display should be double clipped so that the film appears with the original dimensions intact. It even shows you like the correct and incorrect way of... Uh, watching the film <clears throat> right there in the back so it always has some great great articles and pictures uh, some amazing amazing stuff and uh, after watching trances a while back I really wanted to like uh, get into this one I love music and I love musical documentaries now this one here is a dual format it has a blu-ray and DVD edition as well when you uh, take it out like this and see the man himself James Brown all these here have like an interior art work. And uh, really a big fan. So number seven, Soul Power. <coughs> I highly recommend it. Next up is a Clouseau film, actually. If you've ever watched my channel, then you probably saw my review done with my uh, better half of Diabolique. And uh, that is a favorite film of mine. I've been wanting to see this one for a long, long time. I have, uh, the only Clouseau films I have right now are Ali Diabolique and Corbeau. I need to pick up Wages of Fear, that's for sure. And this was the other one that I really wanted, and I uh, finally got it. It is Annie Clouseau's The Murder Lives at 21. And this is number uh, 57 in the uh, Eureka Masters of Cinema collection. I love the uh, the colors here of the art. It's, uh, <clears throat> again, it's a very Hitchcockian style story. And uh, there's some great stuff in here. We have like an interview with the... Uh, French film scholar Jeanette, oh, I'm not even going to try to pronounce that, about Clouseau in his debut, 
And of course, another 28-page booklet, so we'll look into that one as well. So they have some like, great, great booklets. Poster on the other side, of course. Testaments, testimonials of a first film. There's some really great stuff in these booklets. Very well done, very comprehensive booklets. Some fantastic, fantastic art on here. Look on the inside, you'll see the, uh, the disc in, of course. As always, there's kind of a, an interior sequence on here. Next up is uh, from actually one of my uh, favorite directors, and that is uh, Claude Chabral, and it is Le Beau Serge. I hope I got that pronounced right. Which is number 58 in the criteria, in the, criteria, in the Masters of Cinema, Eureka, Eureka Master Cinema Collection. Uh, it's a great little film, basically. Uh, Gerard Blaine and John, I'm because I don't remember the names of the actors on here, and John Claude Brialli, basically, they star in the first film with. Uh, Claude Chabal. And so basically in this one here, um, it's two friends and uh, a triangle forms that uh, makes one of the friends. You will watch it and see. There's a really good reason for uh, that I grabbed this one, aside from being a Chabral fan. So it's a fantastic discard right there. Again, there's another great booklet. And... Uh, Some very amazing like stuff in here, story and art. Uh, just some really, really incredible stuff. Yeah, this film here was the first that these uh, two actors worked in with Chabal, but they would act in another film actually, well for uh, Chabal, and uh, that movie was number uh, fifty-nine in the uh, Eureka Master Cinema Collection, La Cazons, and. Uh, Cousins basically, and in this one here, it's uh, another against a similar, very uh, character driven story. In this one, though, the reverse roles, and in one of them, you're gonna notice that one of them turns kind of like it's it turns more to bliss, it's more bad, and the other one's like the better one. And in this one here, they pretty much switch up the roles, and uh, the other one, uh takes the uh, the job and that's a really that's a little fantastic thing that I find here uh, the classic uh, image from uh, the is this one here luckily it's there's no actual nudity but uh, it's extremely erotic and uh, of course the image again is on the back and just have some really great stuff basically did it heavier for the town rat and the country rat I'm going to try not to talk about these too much until I actually get into watching them because it's been a long time since I've seen some of these films. And I don't want to pretend that I remember everything about them because I really don't. But it, again, some fantastic stuff. Uh, I think both of these may be in or were part of the Criterion Collection as well. I just really love the way that these are done here. Um, I'll go back and look at these and let you know what the, spe what the special features on each one are. Especially the Chabal ones, because they got some pretty cool stuff. <clears throat> Next up is uh, number 77, and that is uh, a classic film. It was put up by Sony as well, but I don't, this was not a... Unfortunately, I think a lot of people wanted this to be a Criterion, but, it, but I think it was Sony to put it out. Uh, but this is uh, uh, the edition. If you're going to buy this movie, you got to get this edition of it. And that is Wings with uh, Gary Cooper. Uh, Cla and Claire Ball, of course. Classic, classic film. Uh, dual format edition. This one here, we're looking at a... Like, a Blu-ray, and uh, there's enough stuff here that it takes two DVDs to, uh, to do this one out. Just a, a wonderful film, a very early film. Again, a very exciting, and a lot of, uh, is this a Wellman film? <clears throat> okay, I'm actually super, I'm a really big fan of the uh, director William Wellman, so no, it can't be. Yeah, this is directed by William Wilmer. Uh From the, the, a lot of those uh, pre-code uh, sets that I have. So this movie here runs 144 minutes long. And it has like uh, 
three video documentary pieces on the film. On the film's production and restoration on the airplanes, 40 page booklet, so some great stuff on here. As you can see, as, as you're going through that, these here, the it's very colorful the way that these are done. When you put these in your collection, you're very proud. Uh, next up is one of my favorite Lindsay Anderson films, probably my favorite Lindsay Anderson film, that is If with Malcolm McDowell, who I was lucky enough to get to meet. I'm a huge fan of McDowell, and he didn't disappoint. He was actually a really nice guy when I met him. Uh, Richard Widmark is in, Richard Warwick is in this one here. Uh, David Wood. Uh, it's just a fantastic film. This is the uh, Blu-ray edition. Uh, this is probably, if you've had the Criterion, it's probably what, what you're used to seeing. I do kind of like the art on here more. And again, it has a fantastic uh, booklet with just some amazing stuff. There's a... I'm just blown away by the stuff that they, that they do, by the booklets that they put together. They just have some incredible stuff. And it has been a long, long time since I watched this movie. But I remember that it really uh, blew me away at the time. And they like to tell you about uh, some of the other stuff. So right at the beginning here, one thing you need to know is that they also have some of his early films on here as well, which is actually really cool. So we have uh, three installations uh, directed by Lindsay Anderson. We have Thursday's Child, again directed by him. That, uh, that one there was... I think commentator, so narrator, was Richard Burton, and a one called Henry. So I'll be interested in seeing those as well as the as this one here. This one, the reason I want this one, has a lot of these short films on there as well. And next up is the Fritz Lang classic. So I did go with a lot of classic stuff this summer, guys. So, uh, Spion, Spion, Spies. And uh, I love Fritz Lang. I love his style of filmmaking. I love the way that his, I think cinematography is... It's just so ahead of its time, just so fantastic. This one here has a ton of, like, this movie here itself runs 150 minutes long. It's one of those huge epic type of films that uh, Fritz Lang was so, so well known for doing. Even the documentary itself, there's a documentary on the film that runs 71 minutes itself, which is actually uh, pretty incredible. So again, it's a dual format. Uh, it's the uh, DVD and the uh, Blu-ray. And this one does have the only one I see that has she has a uh, kind of a a dual thing. But really, what it is is all those is it takes off the uh, on here. You're gonna notice there on the other side. See that and kind of the PG thing. Well, it takes that off. Some people in a in a UK really hate seeing this on their on their films. Over here, it's kind of such such a novelty that we're we're like, oh my god, that's so awesome. <laughs> so uh, we actually keep them on there a lot of stuff anyway. So, uh, again, amazing artwork. Incredible stuff. I just finished watching the fire series, by the way. I'm so excited to actually watch these films. And the next movie I bought is a DVD. I didn't realize it was out of print when I bought it. I just completely, uh, I'm a huge fan of John Ford. And uh, I hadn't seen, I don't know if I've seen this movie. I'll be honest with you, I don't think I've seen this one. I probably, it'll probably kind of like recall in my memory once I uh, start watching it. But as far as I can remember, I know I haven't seen it. The artwork on the DVD is phenomenal. It's an out of print uh, Masters of Cinema, and I've been trying to get the uh, the collection. So anytime I see a DVD that's out of print for Masters of Cinema, I'm definitely grabbing it. And it is uh, The Prisoners of Shark Island. I love this cover. I think it's utterly gorgeous. This is number 22 in the uh, Masters of Cinema collection. Again, it's John Ford. Or it's an early film by Ford. Uh, done back in 1936. We got a full-length audio commentary by Ford Expert. A video appreciation of the film by the critic David Ernstein. Promotional gallery of 20th, 20th Century Fox material. And 28-page uh, booklet uh, with an essay by if Slimy Anderson, director. So you open it up right here and you see this, this amazing booklet on the inside of uh, Prisoner Shark Island. And I'm going to take this out and you to see this. It's just extremely cool the way that's done. <clears throat> Actually, all these here were, were like brand new. Uh, and I just took the, uh, the wrapping off them. A lot of people wouldn't have taken the wrapping off of Prisoner Shark Island because, you know, it's another print one. Some people will say, okay, I can like I can flip it, but that's not what I do. I collect movies. 
So this movie here, I think, is also a part of the uh, Fox, the Ford at Fox set. So if you have that, that's a, uh, then you've probably seen the movie. Again, it has another uh, fantastic book. It's a DVD book, so it's a little bigger than the, uh, as you know, it's in size wise, as opposed to the uh, Blu-ray booklets. But both of them have some fantastic stuff. It's an interview with John Ford, circa 1955, right there, which I'm very, very much looking forward to. Uh, some great stuff about Prisoner of Shark Island. Just a fantastic little film. So if you haven't seen it, it really is worth seeing. We got Gloria Stewart in this one here. Uh, just amazing stuff. So feature-wise, quickly go back over because I want to keep this one fairly short. Uh, Soul Powers features basically there's a exclusive video interview with the director. We've got 30 minutes of deleted behind the scenes footage, extra performances by James Brown, Sister Sledge, the Pointer Sisters, and others. Original UK theatrical trailer, uh, 36 page booklet, uh, optional English subtitles. So if you're hard of hearing or you just uh, want to watch with subtitles on, maybe want to make a commentary. If you're a podcast or something, then you, that also helps as well. Uh, this here has a, a, a new come out restoration of the film, uh, newly translated optional English sub subtitles. We got a new exclusive video interview with French film scholar Jeanette Vincendo, I guess, about Closo and his, and his debut, a 28-page booklet. It's just some incredible stuff on my hand. So I find it all pretty incredible. This one here is, these two next two here, the both Serge and the cousins go together. So uh, this one has, a, again, again, a new Gamont restoration. We've got the 56-minute uh, documentary about the making of the film. La Vries, a short film by Claude Chabrol from 1962. And here's the thing. The 56-minute documentary on the making of this film goes right into the the 47-minute doc minute documentary of this film. It's like almost really like kind of a part one and two. Uh, these movies really do go together. And you can't and shouldn't, in my opinion, watch one of these films without having the other. They really do belong uh, as movies that really go together. We have the 47-minute uh, documentary, uh, short film with College Brown from 1974. Actually, there's two or three short films on that one. And one of these one here from, uh, you know, it's one from this one and one the other one. And we also have, like, the 36-page booklet. Uh, just incredible, incredible stuff. So, excited to see that one. Of course, Wings, the toy before, has uh, a ton of stuff on there. Just some fantastic stuff. I'm not sure if they stand inside the book what it is. Sometimes they do. They tell us this time. No, but again, there's three really much bigger documentaries than this one here. If has a this is a big one. Uh, so it's got a uh, transfer approved by the cinematographer and assistant editor Ian Rockoff. We got optional English subtitling for a deaf and hard of hearing. Audio commentary with uh, film critic and historian Dave Robinson, and actor Mark McDowell. New video interviews with producer Michael. Medwin, writers David Sherwin, John Howell, and editor David Gladwood, production manager Gavrix Lucy, camera assistant, uh, camera operator Brian Harris, and actors David Wood, Hugh Thomas, Jeffrey Ch Chatter, Philip Bengal, and Sean Burry. Three short films by Anderson, three installations, Thursday's Child and Henry. Two U.S. trailers for the for the feature film, a 56-page color booklet. Uh, this is really a packed edition. Uh, Spies here has a, uh, the course, as I mentioned before, a 71 minute documentary. It has the, uh, it has the original score from the film by Donald Sosin, as also has an alternate, kind of like an option, optional, uh, piano score by Neil Brand on the Blu ray only, of course. We have the original, uh, German intertitles and original, with original English subtitles as well. We've got 71 minute documentary on here and a great 52 page booklet. This DVD, what I'm not expecting as much on this one. We get a new, uh, restoration of the film, a uh, full-length audio commentary by Ford expert Scott Iman, video appreciation on the film by David Arenstein, promotional gallery, and, and again a 28-page booklet. So there we go, guys. That is what I picked up. My Eureka collection. This is my alternate, my alternative to uh, to Criterion this month. Everybody's doing like a, the huge Criterion pickups and sales and stuff like that. I don't live in the United States where I can actually kind of veil myself of that, and I went looking online to see which Criterions I wanted. And I said, you know, 
let's do something a little bit different. Let's let, let's switch it up a bit. And I did. And I think these look beautiful together in the collection. Eureka, check them out, Kevin. I know that my good friend Logan Toxic uh, does uh, does a lot of uh, Eureka type of unboxing and stuff like that as well. So check his channel out. I have some decent stuff there as well. So here we go, guys. It's a uh, Another night, and I'm soon going to be doing my uh, my draw for the uh, contest. So if you haven't got your uh, entry in, you might want to get that in soon. But I don't actually want a contest. Uh, yes, I got to say that from a, a, a fantastic friend of mine, and I did not expect to win. I'm so glad I did because everybody was getting like the troll thing from a troll two from uh, from Screen Factory, the troll double feature. Uh, and I really want to see troll two again. I want to you know own the Screen Factory one down the road, but I really want to rewatch that film. And I like the colors of the cases he had and stuff like that. So actually, one. So if you haven't checked it, Rom's reviews with Lauren G. Uh, Rom's reviews of Doom. He has a new channel too. Oh God, it's a uh, which I'm gonna shout out in an upcoming video as well. So he's a fantastic, fantastic reviewer, and he does things like I am a very huge fan of his of his work and the fact that uh, in some stuff we don't agree. Sometimes on a lot of the on a lot of the movies that uh that you know that I like that he likes, but I can't I cannot say that there's you know that there's many other people that I can disagree with as uh, well and uh, really respect the opinion that's uh, that's coming out that's being put across. So that's the that's one of the biggest comments I can give. Thanks for watching, guys. For me right now, it really is time for tea. It's getting cold over there. Gotta go to work tomorrow. I've only got three uh, days of work next week because of uh. American Thanksgiving. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a fantastic day. And for me right now, it's time for tea. And I am out of here. Hope you guys enjoyed, uh, I'm enjoying Cartoon Month. Let me know what you got. For me, uh, I'm with the Masters. Have a good one.